farmers have begun a one-day hunger strike against agricultural reforms they say threaten their livelihoods. The reforms, contained in three laws enacted in September, loosen rules around the sale, pricing and storage of farm produce. More than half of India's working population comes from the agricultural sector. That's according to the country's most recent census. But farmers have also seen their economic influence fade over the last three decades. Once producing a third of India's GDP, farming now only accounts for around 15%. Small growers fear these new laws will mean the end of price support for staples such as wheat and rice and leave them at the mercy of big business. But the government argues that laws will make the sector more efficient by giving farmers a wider market to sell to. Thousands of people have been taking part in protests across the UK and the world to show support for the farmers in India. Many of them originate from farming backgrounds in the Punjab and have family members, prote family members protesting in Delhi. Monica Plaha has been speaking to two British protesters whose family livelihood depend on farming. Standing up to the new farming bills. Until change is made, Indian farmers show no sign of leaving the Delhi border. And this hasn't gone unnoticed. Demonstrations across the world have taken place in support of farmers. But thousands of miles away, why do British people feel so strongly? Sun Kaur has been campaigning for weeks. My uncles and aunties from my mom's side, as well as my dad's side, from Punjab, have travelled all the way to Delhi to fight for farmers' rights. Agriculture is so important to our family because this is where we established this is where we ploughed the fields that allowed us to grow, for my parents to come to this country. India is one of the world's biggest agricultural producers. In fact, 70% of rural households rely on this industry. The majority of protesters have come from the Punjab. It's known as the country's breadbasket. My parents, my grandparents, have been raised in Punjab. We always travel to Punjab and see, you know, the industry of farming there and how our families are ploughing the fields. We have so much culture and this is why we support this movement. We predominantly farm uh, rice and uh, wheat. Aman owns land in India. This is his cousin and uncles. They've travelled hundreds of miles from the Punjab to Delhi to join in with the protest. They've actually said that they're prepared to be there for as long as it takes, whether it's weeks or even if it's months. The Indian government passed three new laws which allow farmers to sell their produce directly to private buyers. They argue it will abolish the middlemen and improve farmers' pay. But farmers say this would damage their income and make them vulnerable to large companies. It's about farmers getting a fair deal. This whole expenses that has taken place have, have put debt uh, and burden on the farmers in many different ways. And um, it's just not been a pleasant situation. I'd want a, a fairer market for, for farmers, um, subsidies, um, help with, with finances. For millions of British Indians, life here is so different from the farmlands of South Asia. But for many, like Suk and Amin, farming is their family's livelihoods, and they will continue to stand with them until change is made. Monica Plaha, BBC News.